Okay, so I'm doing care after neuter because we got him roughly three weeks ago. The day we got him, he got neutered that morning. That's why we got to pick him up that day after he got neutered. And then two days after that, we had a few hundred dollar vet bill because the neuter, it got all infected. And they didn't give me any instructions. And he didn't have a cone on. He didn't have anything. So this is, you lived this. This is first-hand experience. Great. Okay, so what is neutering? Obviously, you're sterilizing, you're castrating them. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. So this is the procedure that I found. Fantastic pictures. So first, you're, gonna, you're supposed to cut right in front of the, of the scrotal sac. Maybe point to it um, with your laser yeah. pointers. So Here's right here, yeah. and then a real-life picture right there. For him, I don't know why they didn't do that. They actually cut directly right there. That's the other on way to scrotum. do it. You can cut right on the square. When I castrate 500-pound bores, I have to make two incisions, one over each uh, testis on the scrotum. Okay, so then they're just going to like lift the testicle out, out from the skin, kind of just pop it out, and then we'll end up making an incision <coughs> right on the vaginal tunic. That's what's shown right here, and they'll cut that. That way, the that way the testicle is exposed. Okay, now I got a qu quick question. The testicle is what light purple, right? What's that structure that's white to the right? Epididymis. Not Epididymis. the vas deferens. Epididymis. Epididymis. Thank you. <coughs> then, because they have, though, obviously there's. Um, veins and whatnot, they're going to have to put, what's the word, <laughs> tie off this part so that way they're going to cut on the top of it, that way, you know, blood's not going everywhere. Two ligatures, please. Yeah. And I bet you they cut probably right between there, I'm not sure. What, is that the next slide? Yeah, okay. Because <laughs> I was going to say, I, I tied off with the boards, I tied off two, but I left the two in the animal, mm -hmm. so yeah, that's I gotcha. how I do it. So yeah, the spermatic cord is cut. That way the testicle and the epididymis is removed and that's thrown out. And then obviously you're going to do that again for the second testicle. And then they're just going to suture it up. You can do sutures two ways. One is going to be where you can visually see them on the outside. And the other one, which is more common, um, the sutures are on the inside. That way they dissolve. He had that, but then he pulled some of his sutures out. Now which ones he did he have? Did he have the ones in front of the scrotum or on the scrotum? His was on the scrotum. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. And then they'll either put a tattoo, normally the tattoo it would be right above the scrotum, like a green line, to indicate that he's been neutered. With him, specifically, they put a letter N in his ear. Is that his ear there? That's his ear. What ear is it? What left or right? I'm just curious. I don't know. Is there a standard here they put that in? I'm just. I'm sorry, his right. right. His right, okay. Okay, so when can it be done? For dogs and cats, actually, for dogs and cats, males, it can be done as early as eight weeks, although I've, I read that a lot of veterinarians still say four to six months is the best window. Okay, so let's see what the real world says out here. Four to six months, unless it's a large dog and they want to wait longer. Do they want puberty to occur? Yeah, they, yeah. They've been showing studies that it's linked to mast cell cancer. Oh yeah, I remember you're reading something. Staying and like neutering that. Are too early because you're like not letting them get the hormones that they need to grow properly. Okay. So like with like giant dogs, I know my friend waited yeah. for her great dean until like 18 months. Yeah, because giant dogs mature slower. Yes. Puberty comes later. So okay, so that's a strategy there. I think I remember seeing some somebody showed me an article one time about. They compared ages of castration and it seemed to be the evidence was a little later is better, yeah. four to six, depending on breed then. Yeah, it's a case by case basis yeah. too, and with the eight weeks, it also causes problems. So, I mean, we understand why they do it in shelters, but it also has had some studies that show that it's not as yeah. healthy. You can kind of see why they're in shelters. If they castrate them at eight weeks, then they know they're mm -hmm. can't trust people. not going to, yeah, yeah, they're not going to depend on the person to say, yeah, I'll have them neutered later. So these are some benefits of neutering your dog. It prevents testicular cancer because, well, they don't have any testicles anymore. It reduces prostate problems dramatically. 
Um, they're less likely to roam, like roam out of your house because with their testes still intact, they're more eager to go mate, so they won't <coughs> roam, less likely to. Um, little to no mounting. The day we went and visited him, we didn't get him this day, but the day we went and visited him, he was trying to mount my daughter. <laughs> and they were like, don't worry, we're going to fix that. He's getting neutered before you get him. Like, okay. <laughs> so obviously, no pregnancies to reduce the amount of animals in the shelters. Complications. Pain's normal, obviously. A little bit of swelling is normal. Excessive swelling, that's not good. That's what he had. Um, discharge coming out would be an infection. He had discharge coming out of the incision site and like directly out of his penis. He had like mm, really? weird color stuff leaking out. Mm -hmm. Bleeding is not good. Um, they can become lethargic or have diarrhea in that case. You would definitely take him to a vet. Pretty much anything besides small swelling and pain, you would take him to a vet. Take him back. So this is obviously isn't him, but this is right at about the size that his was oh my gosh, two really? days after we got it. Really? Mm -hmm. They got really, really big. So mm. that morning, as soon as I got up, I called the vet. Um, they said, all right, bring him in right now. A few hundred dollars later. He's <laughs> better. <laughs> um, this is him now. I took this picture this morning. So there's just a scab because when he was, like I said, when they neutered him, they didn't put a cone on him, so he was licking himself down there, so that got an infection. And then he kind of opened it up, so that that's where the scab came from. And then there's part right there. It's part of the part of the stitches because he pulled some of it out. Um, the vet said it's fine. No worries, it's fine. It'll it'll heal up. <laughs> um, if he were were to have pulled it out anymore, they would have had to restitch him. But they said it's fine for now. Do's and don'ts. After you take them to get neutered, give them food and water a few hours later. See if they'll take any of that. Give them lots and lots of rest, um, seven to ten days. Check your incision, incision daily. Usually you would put a cone on them so problems don't occur and you keep it on for seven to ten days and vet if needed. Do not, do not let them lick like themselves, do not give them exercise, strenuous exercise for seven to ten days, and do not bathe them. Questions? Are there any questions? Are you ready for <laughs> questions? Here we go. Why, why did they, did they not trim the scrotal sack off? Why just cut off and then stitch it? What do you mean, you trim it? Are you? Are you saying that again? You know, all, all that's left is an empty scrotal sack. Why don't you just Oh, you're take talking about tape? No, no, no. That's too big a gap. No, you, you'd be, you'd have a wound there. It's better to let it atrophy naturally. Yeah, you know, you never take the scrotum off. Now, here's how I did the big bores. I didn't do any suturing. I let it drain, <coughs> and the the, the, the some spermatic cord. That's the part that brings all the blood vessels in. It's so big on boards, I couldn't use any suture because suture wouldn't be strong enough. I used umbilical tape. I don't know if you're familiar with umbilical tape, but it's very, you know, it's got, so I tied it off twice like that and then cut, tie off twice and then cut on the testy side of that second suture. And then I just let them drain because they can swell up. And that's one thing I was going to ask, how about, does everybody suture up the scrotum? I mean on the dogs. Yeah. For the most part, okay. Do sutures or I've seen staples done too. Griffin, what were you going to say? I uh, with cows we don't. No, we, no. If we cut them late, we want. I know of horses they don't use. Yeah, because it's actually better. There's a lot of food in there, and it's better to let it drain. But now maybe small animals. How about cats? Do they suture? We usually just glue. Glue. Yeah. Oh, glue. glue. Okay. <laughs> and usually with like spays now, like she was saying, they do internal sutures, and then they just glue the skin on the outside so that they can't get to their sutures. Yeah. Paper yeah. Paper yeah. yeah. Okay. And they don't really use. Cones yeah, yeah. Cones is kind of like probably not unless there's a dog that's, you know, licking that area all the time. 